We are nearing a year of this pandemic. We've tragically lost thousands of our friends, family members, neighbors and co-workers during this time. And now we have three vaccines available to help us get back to what we know and what we love. Pack in the streets of New Orleans and celebrating with one another. But the Archdiocese is telling Catholics not to get the newest vaccine from Johnson & Johnson, and they're urging parishioners not to get that specific vaccine because of its abortion-derived cell line. Good evening, I'm Sharice Gibson. And I'm Katie Moore, and because of the Archdiocese message, medical experts are worried about the impact it's going to have on those who are eligible to get the vaccine now. Mike McDaniel has the story. With federal approval of the one-dose Johnson & Johnson COVID vaccine, state health leaders expect as many as 38,000 doses to be in Louisiana this week. What it means for people of Louisiana is it's going to be easier to access vaccine. As health leaders praise it, the Archdiocese of New Orleans rejects it. The Archdiocese says because the company uses an abortion-derived cell line in the vaccine's development and production, it's considered morally compromised. It's a process that's been used before, and while there are no human fetal cells in the vaccine, the Archdiocese is recommending Catholics opt for the Pfizer or Moderna versions if available. Those companies used cell lines during testing, but not in current manufacturing. It was completely surprising to me. Dr. Sandra Kimmerly with Oshner Health says she doesn't quite understand why the Archdiocese would take that position and is worried about the impact on getting people vaccinated. Several months in, we thought we've heard most every sort of concern that has been raised. And so this was new and, um, and really was a surprise. Take whatever shot that is available to you. New Orleans Health Director Dr. Jennifer Avegno expects several thousand doses of the vaccine to be in New Orleans by midweek. She says she respects the position of the Archdiocese, but is also concerned about people waiting, considering supply and demand. We still don't have the supply available that would allow the state to say anybody who wants one can get one, but we're getting really close. While the Archdiocese also makes note of a vaccine being one of personal choice, health leaders say you won't have a choice at vaccination events. If they arrive at an event that is a J&J &J vaccination event and they don't want J&J &J product, that will be the only option at that event. They would have to reschedule. Rescheduling during a time when health leaders say time is crucial. Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News. This afternoon, Bishop Michael Duca from the Diocese of Baton Rouge advised people to feel free to take the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. He says while the other versions are preferred and despite moral concern, accepting the Johnson & Johnson vaccine would be for the common good. 